It's not hard to find grackles. They often hang out in large flocks, sometimes mixed with other blackbirds or starlings. They're noisy, gregarious, and have entertaining displays. First, let's look at how to identify these birds, as there's a few variations to know about. You can find grackles in North, Central, and South America. In North America, there are three types, the common, great-tailed, and boat-tailed. Of the common grackle, there are three subspecies. The bronzed grackle, which is the dominant color pattern in its range, the Florida grackle in the southeast, and the purple grackle along the east coast. Male and female grackles look similar, sometimes. They are smaller than males and have smaller tails, but depending on the subspecies, they may be duller, less colorful versions of the male, or dark brown. Juvenile common grackles are also brown, but the way to tell them apart from females is the eye color. Depending on their age, their eyes will be brown to dull yellow versus the bright yellow of the adult female. If you look at the common grackle in just the right light, its once black appearance reveals an impressive array of iridescent blue, bronze, and purple. It's similar to the colors you see in an oil slick, actually. It is the most colorful of the three, as well as the smallest in body and tail size. Now, the ranges of the great-tailed and boat-tailed grackles overlap a little bit. They look quite similar with their fantastically long V-shaped tails. They were actually once thought to be the same species, so what's the best way to tell them apart? The answer is the eye color. Boat-tailed grackles in Florida and along the Gulf Coast have brown eyes making them easy to distinguish from the great-tailed's yellow eyes. But travel up the Atlantic coast and they have yellow eyes, making them look similar to the great-tailed, only great-tailed grackles aren't found there, but common grackles are. Boat-tailed grackles are larger and have heftier bills than the common grackle. They're also more sapphire blue and lack the purple that the common grackle has. Remember that this will be the purple subspecies along the coast. Grackle displays are just neat and accompanied by complex squeaks, whistles, rapid fire clacks, and a sound that has been described as a rusty gate hinge or machinery in need of lubrication. To me, some of their vocalizations sound like they're right out of a Star Wars movie. The common grackle does the gate hinge sound very well, puffing itself up and deflating repeatedly with accompanying squeaks. The gray-tailed grackle can sometimes be seen pointing its bill skyward and puffing up and making an impressive array of calls. Aren't those just great? And lastly, here are a couple of the boat-tailed grackles' calls. <coughs> of the three grackles, the common grackle has an unusual feature that the other two don't, and that is a special apparatus in its mouth that allows it to crack acorns. It's described in the literature as a hard keel projecting below the edge of the beak. And sure enough, if we zoom in on this photo, we can clearly see what that looks like. What they do is they score the acorn with the keel and then use their powerful jaws to break the acorn so they can access the nut inside. Grackles are important seed dispersers, and thanks to them, many trees and shrubs have been planted with their help. When it comes to their diet, grackles are opportunistic and resourceful. Insects, fish, invertebrates, snakes, lizards, mice, fruit, seeds, grain, bird eggs, and nestlings, they're all on the menu. They have been known to pirate worms from American robins, eat human food, garbage, and even dog food. Of all the items on that list, seeds and grains are among their favorites. 
Common grackles in particular are known for being agricultural pests and the top threat to corn. No matter what stage of growth it is in from sprouting to hard kernel, it has much to offer the grackle. Of course, farmers have a much different perspective on this than the birds do, as they can do millions of dollars in damage to crops. Great-tailed grackles have been known to damage ripening oranges and grapefruit on southern Texas farms, rendering them to be either lower in value or unfit for consumption. Grackles are also known to dominate bird feeders, pushing smaller birds out of the way and keeping them from getting to food. This, along with their propensity to wreak agricultural havoc, have earned them a bad reputation by some. But what do you think? Are you a fan of grackles or not so much? I personally find them amusing and love having them around, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.